Hello folks, this is 2021 May June paper 2-3 and the question number is 2. This question is concerned with the chapter, we can say it has kinematics or also dynamics as well. Or even we have a distant connection with the chapter forces. So it uh, uh, the first question is, uh, it says us to define acceleration. So it is simply rate of change of velocity. Uh, so we should have a change of velocity in the uh, numerator, change of velocity by it should be the time duration. Number B, a stone falls vertically from the top of a cliff. Cliff, Figure 2.1 shows the variation with time t of the velocity v of the stone. V of the stone. Uh, from the figure, we can note that uh, the initial velocity is zero. Uh, that means it has just been released, not thrown. And uh, finally, the velocity has become constant at some value. That means it uh, reaches the terminal velocity. Explain with reference to the forces acting on the stone, the shape of the curve in figure 2.1. So we have to <coughs> explain in terms of the forces here. So what we can have is, initially, the rate of increase of velocity is high. That means uh, acceleration is, is high. So is initially, 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 we have A is high. A high means that we have a force resultant is equal to high. high. <clears throat> this happens because uh, at that time uh, the force resultant which is equal to which is equal to uh, weight weight of the body minus the the opposing forces due to air. Uh, the opposing force due to air is less that's why it is equal to high. It is high which means that F O is very very less at that time very less at that time uh, then here we can see that uh, the rate of increase of V which means A decreases in the middle A decreases A decrease means that as I can see from this relation F resultant also decreases this also decreases it means that uh, from this equation I can say F O increases FO increases and ultimately what we can see here is the uh, it gets a terminal velocity which means that a is equal to zero a equal to zero it means a force resultant is equal to zero which means that at that time the weight is equal to uh, opposing forces opposing forces so <clears throat> what happens is uh, because of uh, the equality of w and uh, uh, f naught the resultant is equal to zero which means a equal to zero which means v now becomes constant and this uh, constant velocity is called as terminal velocity terminal velocity uh, it is called terminal because after reaching this velocity the acceleration gets uh, terminated a is a is let us say i can use the word called as terminated which means finished which means zero so that is that's how the name has been coined number two Use figure 2.1 to determine the speed of the stone when the resultant force on it is 0. So, as we can say, F R is equal to 0, A 0, V equal to constant. So, at that time, so when force is equal to 0, the velocity is this, which is the terminal velocity here. So, if I go and compare it to here, it will be equal to somewhere here. It is 36. So, it is a 36 meter per second. So, I can say here, uh, uh, v is equal to constant constant when it reaches when it reaches 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 uh, 36 meter per second per second so now 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 yeah now use figure 2.1 which is the previous figure figure on the uh, previous page to calculate the approximate height through which the stone falls between time t equal to 0 and time t equal to 30 seconds so we have to find the overall 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 height that it falls between time 0 and 30 seconds so let me place it here i need this uh, again so what uh, i have to do for this purpose is i have got a scale with me here so i'll have to use the scale so first of all let me let me let me let me draw a tangent here tangent in the beginning so this is the tangent the tangent so from tangent it reaches here then i will draw 
then I will draw this uh, horizontal line here horizontal line here like this so this figure this figure this whole figure is like a trapezium like a trapezium so the area under this trapezium will be equal to let us say this is area one area one is equal to one by two into its height height is equal to 36 36 into then sum of the parasites so this is is a 30 30 plus this is from here it is uh, from here it is 20 uh, it is 25 25 and uh, let me say 26 uh, not even 20 uh, it is 26 so should be should be should be it is 27 so 26 point 0.5 point 0.25 so it plus 26.25 so i can see even uh, in between the in between the divisions so i have taken even the half division so let me uh, use my calculator for the purpose so let me use my calculator so so so, so what i can have is uh, let me just unlock it uh, it is taking a long time here mm -hmm. So its value will be equal to equal to let me use my calculator Okay, uh, so let me uh, let me uh, <coughs> put the values. So half is 0.8, so sorry, 0.5, 0.5 into 36 into uh, 30 plus uh, 26.25, very close, equal to, see this becomes, this becomes, this becomes equal to 1012.5.5 meters. So it is the whole area here. From that area, uh, I have to uh, deduct this thing. I have to reduce this shaded area, uh, not shaded actually. So uh, above this thing and this. Here. So uh, I think I need to count it here. So from here I can have uh, this is 10, 10, uh, 9, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23. Mm, so how should I do it? Okay, so this is uh, 19, uh, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 27, 5, 32, 33, uh, 34, 34, 3, 37, 3, 37, 37, 5, 42, 42, 3, 45, 46, 46, 3, 49, 49, 4, 49, 5, 54, 55, 55, then uh, 4, uh, 55, 4, 55, 59 one two three four five six seven so it is 107 so let us say it is 107 so this a2 is equal to 107 meters meters so when i deduct this then the area covered by the lower portion be equal to so total area will be equal to resultant equal to 1012.5 minus 107 which will be equal to minus 107 will be equal to 905.5 meters and that's equal to height is equal to 906 meters so let us say it is 906 meters okay so then comes uh, number IV in number IV I have got uh, sketch the variation with time t of the acceleration a of the stone between time t equal to 0 and uh, t equal to 30 seconds so we have to calculate the we have to 
plot the uh, value of acceleration so what we can uh, just uh, uh, think that initially a should be high initially a should be high and uh, finally a should be zero especially a should be zero from this region from this 20 region so here i can say a should be zero is like this here a should be zero and the initial value of a should be somewhat 9.8 because uh, the value of acceleration due to gravity is 8 so it has to start from so it has to start from 9.8 so it is a 9.5.8 so from here so from here it has to reduce now what happens is initially uh, the slope is high so a should be high slope is less a should be less slope is less a should be less slope is even less a should be even less and here slope is zero so a should be zero so this graph should be somewhat like this now initially a was high then a decreases a is decreasing 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 a is decreasing and when i teach this thing in class i use long languages long literature to make things understandable i don't want to make a shortcut i simply write a long essay to describe why the rate of decrease of a is becomes less and less and what happens once a becomes zero until a become until a is not zero a is decreasing but once a becomes zero it does not decrease further so you can see this thing uh, this thing in uh, in my uh, other videos i have clearly explained this thing here okay so this should be the nature of the graph for a t